Those near and dear to Sammy Yatim will stay silent for now. The company of the Toronto teen, uh, the family of the uh, Toronto teen killed by police uh, gunfire is cancelling a highly anticipated press conference after the officer who fired the fatal shots was granted bail. Meanwhile, questions surrounding the specifics of the 18-year-old's death remain unanswered. Alexander Gunn is following all of the developments and joins us live. Hi, Alex. Good morning, Pat. Now, during the court proceedings, we really did get that statement released from the family of Sami Yatim. They wanted to schedule a press conference with the media the following day, but after the release of Constable James Forsillo, he was released on bail of $510,000. The family promptly cancelled that press conference. Here you're taking a look at James Forsillo, the first time as a free man after being released on bail. Um, with four sureties. So we did see that happen yesterday afternoon. He walked out uh, with the support of his lawyer who was there along with the Toronto Police Association Union president. They both walked him out into a black SUV and he drove off. We saw that his family was there to support him uh, during the first hearing in the morning and then later on at the bail hearing as well. So we really are starting to get more information in regard to this issue, but the family has since cancelled that press conference. They've come forward releasing a statement explaining exactly why they're not ready to talk to the media. They're saying that ultimately they just don't have the energy to come forward and deal with the media right now. Let's take a look at that, that statement they released explaining the reasoning for cancelling the press conference. It says, we know you wanted to speak to our family and we appreciate your patience. Please understand that this has struck our family to the core. While we understand your interest and concern for us, we are trying to heal and regain some sense of normalcy in our lives. While we know you have questions we do simply do not have the energy right now to comment we thank all of those who have been supporting us and guiding us through this time and we ask we simply do not have the energy right now to comment so ultimately we really are getting uh, more information they're going on further to say um, that we have the, now the right to fight for justice for Sammy. So we are getting more information from the family though, Pat, but it really does seem as though that they have been dealing with the media the past few days uh, and they're having a hard time dealing with this. We did, however, hear from the lawyer of Constable James Forsillo. He spoke out after he was released on bail, explaining that not all evidence has been assessed as of yet, saying that we've heard a lot from Sammy Yatim's family, but the defense has evidence that they're focusing on and they reminded the public that, of course, Constable James Forsillo is, is innocent until proven guilty. Take a listen to this. Well, I haven't seen all uh, the videos, and as everyone knows, uh, when you look at something from one perspective, you can look at it from a completely different perspective, and it shows something completely different. So it's very early days uh, to judge this case. That's been one of the difficulties and the challenge in this case. There's a lot of people that have rushed to judgment without all of the information. Uh, the defense knows some of the information now, and it's much different than what's being reported. And the Special Investigation Unit of Ontario is investigating the death of Sami Yatim. However, they aren't revealing any information about the nine shots, about and specifically to the cause of death. We know that they said there were multiple gunshot wounds that killed Sami Yatim, but really, just how many struck Sami Yatim is still in question. Uh, we know and a lot of people are an, uh, question, answering the question as to why uh, nine shots were necessary. You know, Sami Yatim is made up. Sammy Yatim's family has made up t-shirts that says nine shots, dot, dot, dot. That's been in the media quite a bit lately as a Pat. Everyone right now is still wondering whether this was an excessive use of force. And, of course, we're going to get more information as this story plays out in the coming months, Pat. Absolutely. Alex, thank you. You're welcome.